engineer and today we are going to discuss a very highly important topic which is related to your how to use your eclipse memory analyzer tool so generally for your java systems we have you know this kind of situations that where we face the issue of the out of memory dumps because the oom dumps which is part of your java system the moment it occurs your database goes to your application goes to standstill so when out of memory dumps occurs so there is high chance of you need to clean up those memory and you need to delete those uh, hprof files but then in the meantime you also need to analyze what caused your high memory and what caused your out of memory dumps in your java system so those are the situations has to be analyzed and sometimes we are not enough capable to understand the logs even you are expert but sometimes it's difficult to understand what could be the possible reason and also there are some of the tools available with sap but those are also not giving 100% efficient result so <clears throat> i'm using another tool called eclipse memory manager memory analyzer tool so i'll just quickly show you how to use this tool for your sample hprof is your out of memory you know file so for that you just need to first go to this your memory you know analyzer tool you can download this is an open source you can just download this one so i'll just open this memory analyzer tool let's wait it will take some time to launch this tool since it's the eclipse based okay so this one has been uh, trigger so wait a second okay so I think everybody can see this one all right so now what we are going to do this is our tool so here there are multiple options that you can see here this looks like more or less on the HANA studio because HANA is also a clip based platform so just to you know understand that what exactly you need to do here you just need to go to the files from there you can just need to open a heap dump because whenever you have a heap dump file which is hprof file or the out of memory dumps so all these things you can upload here so I'll just upload here I'll specify so I have a sample hprof file which I'm just going to use just for everybody's understanding <clears throat> okay so this gives you three results okay one is your LSR which is your leak suspect report so this will automatically check the you know like the heap dump and if any you know like any garbage collection related issues are there it will report it second is your component report so whatever the you know like uh, objects or whatever the you can say the components which are there so that has to be analyzed and then it will be giving you the memory related issues and also reopen the previously run reports that also you can run if you have the history data available so i'm going to first use this lsr report this lsr report helps the maximum component report is okay but leak suspect report is the most crucial one okay so you can just go to the next finish you can always run in a background if it is of larger size so now you can see this one if i just maximize so this is your leak suspect report so you can just go to this one in the left side so you can see the time and all the state and all the information of these files okay and statistical information number of objects all this data you will be seeing here okay so classes objects and the you know cl also the gc garbage collection related so those things you can see so you can just scroll it down here so in this situation you can see this one it will be showing the memory problem suspect one so how much percentage it contributes how much percentage the b contribute and what about the rest so you can just go here you can see this one this is one of your issue so 903 instances so so at least if you get this error right you can further analyze what could be the possible issue some sometime okay being a basis guy not necessarily we know each and everything okay and you want to see more on this you can also search it like this so it will be showing the entire descriptions so similarly you can see this one the reference pattern second okay 
so so all these errors whatever it has so you can see the same thing you can also see this suspect too so similarly this way you can analyze analyze the tool use this report you can also you can also download this report if you want to so there is also possibility so top consumers also you can see here okay you can see this biggest job biggest object so which object is the highest consumer so biggest you know like objects and all these things you can see here the class loaders so whatever things you entire the entire information you can see in this tool so that's the reason is very important that you are going to use this one if you need any help for the java systems i hope it helps so that is all from today and you guys can still explore and let me know if you face any issues while using this tool okay and also i'm starting the osdb migration training from 3rd january in case anyone is interested you can enroll by you know sending your text on 8466880880 or you can email odiaengineerofficial@gmail.com so thank you for watching guys have a great